I found this photo of Doctor Strange online and I wanted to add this glow effect to really make this image stand out. You'll learn how to make this glow effect and to make some changes to whatever your preferences are. Let's jump into Photoshop and make some edits. So I've got the image here in Photoshop and I'm going to make a selection of Doctor Strange here. So I can do this with the pen tool, but I'm just going to go over here to the quick selection tool and then click on select subject. I'll let Photoshop make the selection for me. I'll click select and mask. I'll click on decontaminate colors. Go down here and make sure that I have new layer with layer mask selected. So I've got my new selection here on top. I'm going to turn the background layer back on. And on the background layer, I'm going to go down and add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to add a, an exposure layer. And I'm going to turn the exposure down. Now that I have that set, I'm going to add a brand new layer right above that. I'm going to make sure that my foreground layer is set to black and I'll hit option delete to fill that layer with black. Next, I'll change the blend mode to screen. I'll add a brand new layer right on top of that. And in between these two layers, I'm going to put my cursor right here, hold down the option key and click. This is going to create a clipping mask to this black layer. I will add a new adjustment layer from here and I'm going to select gradient map. Same thing as before, I'm going to move my cursor right here between these two layers, hit option and clip this as well. Next, I'll go up here to the gradient map and click on this and I want to adjust this gradient. So I'm going to click right about here and drop in a new marker. I'll go down here to my color palette and I'm going to make a orange glow. So I'm going to start off with a darker orange. Say OK. I'll drop in a new marker somewhere around here. Go back in and let's select a brighter orange. For my white, uh, instead of making it 100% white, I'm going to go back down and just use a really, really light orange and say OK. I'll select this middle layer once again that's blank and then go ahead and grab my brush tool and we're going to use a larger size brush. I want to make sure that I'm using a soft brush hardness at zero and I also want to come up here and I'm going to change the opacity up to 100 and I'll bring the flow down to about 40. So I'll make sure that my foreground color is set to white. And basically this is going to give us this kind of result when we start to paint. I'm going to increase my brush size one more time, make it really large. And I'm just going to start to paint right behind our subject here. Once you're satisfied with that, I'm going to go back over here to my layers and I'm going to select all of these and put them into a group by hitting Command G and I'll just rename this to Glow. I'm going to hit Command J to duplicate and then relocate these up here to the top. I'll go back in inside this middle layer that I have selected, I'm going to hit a brand new layer right on top. Go back to this drawing layer and I'm going to hit Delete. So basically starting again. So with my brush tool still selected, I'm going to be adding a base glow to start with. So I'm going to bring my brush size down and I'm also going to adjust the opacity down to about 20. I'll leave the flow around 40. I'm just going to go around the edge of the subject here and just paint in this glow. I'll continue to repeat this whole process all the way around the edge. For the head area, I'm going to adjust my brush size down a little bit. And again, just follow the outline of the subject here. I'm going around the hair and just trying to paint in some of this detail of this initial glow. Next, I'm going to grab the smudge tool and I'm going to adjust the strength to about 40, 45, somewhere around there. And with the smudge tool, I'm going to go over all of these lines and gently distort them. So 
So going back over to my brush tool, I'm going to adjust the opacity up to 100% and I'll keep the flow here about 40. I'll adjust my brush size down and I'm just going to take my time going around the head. I'll keep a little bit smaller brush uh, just doing the outline of the hair here. I'm going to switch back and forth between the brush tool and the smudge tool and just making modifications as I go. So I'll really just continue this whole process going around the outside and mixing up my brush size as I go. Now that we have our glow effect applied, I'm going to add some particles. You can do a web search and find some particles, but I've got some particle overlays that I'm going to drop in. I've got these embers and I'm going to just scale these up a little bit and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. I'm going to select my particles and add a layer mask. And then I'm going to fill the layer mask with black and then with a really soft white brush I'm going to turn my opacity down to about 20. I'll keep my flow about 40. And I'm going to just paint back in these embers on this layer mask. I'm also going to add a glow down here to the time stone. So I'm going to add a brand new layer and I'm going to select a, a green, but I'm going to go with a dark green first and just slowly build this up. Still have my uh, opacity down to about 20 and flow is about 40. So I'm just going to paint over this again, just slowly building this up. I'll switch to a little bit brighter green and just repeat the process. I've got a green lens flare that I'm going to drop in. And I'm going to scale this down, reposition it. I'm going to select the lens flare and add a layer mask to it. And then on this layer mask, I'm just going to take my brush and just paint around the edge. I'll adjust my opacity and flow a bit more and make this whole edge just nice and soft. I'll change the blend mode to screen and then reposition. Got another lens flare that I'm going to drop in and just repeat that same process. For my final adjustment, I'm going to add a camera raw filter. So I'm going to go up here to my top layer and I'm going to hit Command Option Shift E on the keyboard and this will create a new merged layer for me to work on. I'll right click on this layer and convert to smart object, then go up to filter and camera raw filter. 
And let's start up here with the basic. And I'm just going to make some slider adjustments here and just see which direction that I want to go in. I'm gonna crank up the texture a bit more and bring up the clarity just a little bit more. I'll adjust the vibrance and the saturation up and then I'm going to go into detail and add some sharpening to the image. I'll bring down, I'll bring up the noise reduction a little bit and I'm gonna go down here to effects and inside of grain and just add a little bit of grain and just a little bit of the vignetting. So here is our final image with the lens flares and the camera raw filter applied. And you can see what a big difference that camera raw filter actually makes. This really is a creative and unique way to apply this glow effect while keeping everything editable. For the overlays that I use, be sure to check out this video that I have queued up just for you. You'll see where I got these overlays and actually how to use them for your projects. Hey, right now is your time to like and subscribe. Be sure to drop some comments below because I love to hear what you're working on with your projects. I will see you in the next video.